This is a lava lizard. There are lots of them on the rocks around here. And in the breeding season, which is now, the males are competing with one another, both for territory and for females. And the way they do so is with press-ups. Watch. <laughs> Actually, this is a model that is used by scientists to investigate the way in which these lizards communicate with one another. Let's see how he gets on. And there's a response. These press-ups vary, both in the number and the intensity, the speed at which they do it, and how high they bob their heads. The interesting thing is that the responses vary from species to species. In other words, each species has its own language of justice. There are slight physical differences between the species of lava lizard on different islands. But now, because they have developed different gestures, they can't interbreed even if they meet. They're separated by a language barrier. There had been rumors of something strange living up on these remote high slopes. Something that lived in burrows and only emerged every now and then to feed. A scientific team went up to investigate. What they discovered astonished everybody. A completely new and unknown species of reptile. A pink iguana. Until now, it was thought that the Galapagos possessed only three species of iguana. The black marine iguana that lives on the seashore, and two species of yellow iguana that live in land, feeding on cacti and other vegetation. This land iguana is certainly the most closely related to the newly discovered one. Genetic studies of the hundred or so individuals that make up this tiny population have shown that it diverged from its land iguana cousins more than five million years ago. So amazingly, it has been here just as long as the other two, but has remained unknown to science until now. The discovery also means that it is even older than Wolf Volcano, where it now lives. And of course, there is another great mystery that no one has yet explained. Nobody knows why it's pink. Could it be that to be pink up here brings something good? We don't know. Maybe this was once spread widely over the island, and this is just the relic population that's left. Again, we don't know. Goodbye. But there's one thing that is quite certain, and that is that there's a lot we have yet to learn about the enchanted islands and about the animals that have evolved here. 
an adult Heliconius butterfly emerges after eight days of transformation. Its delicate wings are crumpled and wet. It stretches them by pumping blood along their veins and then waits for them to dry before attempting to fly. From this point on, its body will not grow or change. It will live for just a month or two and feed just enough to keep itself going. This body is purely for mating. A male's antennae can detect female scent from more than a kilometer away. And he's off to find a female. Success for this butterfly is reproduction, as it is for all species. And that need has shaped the bodies, the behavior, the entire life cycle of all arthropods and produced the dazzling range of forms that we see around us in the world today. In 1972, an amazing discovery was made and filmed. A living male pinta tortoise was discovered in the undergrowth. He was taken off to a protected enclosure on the main island to live out his days in comfort and safety. Here, he became an international celebrity, and he was given a name to reflect his state. Lonesome George. He's about 80 years old, and he's getting a bit creaky in his joints, as indeed am I. He is arguably the rarest animal in the world, certainly there can be none rarer, for he is the last of his kind. His female died a long, long time ago. When he dies, the pinta species of Galapagos tortoise will be extinct. But he's a very important animal. Probably more than any other single creature, he's focused the attention of the world on the fragility of our environment, and he stimulated science to look into whole new areas of research here in the Galapagos. Just 14 days after we filmed Lonesome, he died in his sleep. But he's not forgotten. Lonesome George's story like Darwin's fleeting but famous visit 200 years ago, has attracted many visitors to the islands. <laughs>